Out of the way, Dobie. Hi, welcome back to Auto Tip Off. Enjoy today's video. A change from the norm internet friends, we're going to take a quick look at a sailboat, the Nell 51 Trimaran, so here goes. There's no doubt about it, the multi-hull sector is experiencing the fastest growth in new cruising boat sails. Sales of production catamarans are brisk, and it appears that the old prejudices against multi-hulls have finally dissipated. Trimarans for cruising remain a niche within a niche. However, if boats like the Nil 51 are any indication, the benefits of three hulls will quickly become apparent to a broader audience as well. The 51 is the successor to the highly successful Nil 45, one of which won the multi-hull class in the Atlantic Rally for Cruisers ARC, a few years ago. Michel Joubert and Bernard Nivelt, veteran mono and multi-hull architects, have created their fourth design for Nil. Eric Brunil, founder of Nil, who spent many years on ocean racing tries, is optimistic about the benefits of three hulls for cruising. He claims that a catamaran's peak writing moment is reached at only 12 degrees of heel, at which point sail area must be reduced. A trimaran, on the other hand, has a peak at 27 degrees of heel. True, a tri is essentially a monohull with floats and is typically sailed at a greater angle of heel than a cat. Weight is concentrated low down and amidships in the central hull of the Nil 51. This reduces pitching and results in a softer, more comfortable motion in a seaway, particularly to windward, a weakness for many cruising cats. The main hull of the Nil 51 has pronounced rocker, which allows the boat to turn easily, and the slender armors are towed out to improve directional stability, a daggerboard is not required. Weight management is critical when building high-performance boats, particularly multi-hulls. Neil hired a specialist to analyze the loadings on all parts of the structure in various sea conditions to determine where weight savings could be made and which areas needed to be reinforced. PVC foam cores sandwiched between quadraxial fiberglass rovings and infused with isophthalic and vinyl ester resins make up the hull, deck, and cabin top moldings. Interior bulkheads and the majority of furniture are also made of foam sandwich construction. The boat is jam-packed with useful features, such as the deep basement below the cabin sole in the center hull, which not only houses the engine, fuel and water tanks, batteries, and all electrical ancillaries, but also has room for a generator, water maker, AC unit, spare anchors and road, and much more. This is an enviable selling point as any long-term cruiser will attest. The Nil 51 appears to have a large beam, but it is only 6 inches wider than a Lagoon 52. The wide deck house dominates the boat, but the side decks are clear and spacious. A simple step up from the starboard hull leads to the comfortable helm seat, from which the double headsail rig, a self-tacking jib set inside an overlapping Genoa, is managed by a combination of powered and manual Harken 52 winches. Reefing lines and sheets are all led here, along with rope bags to contain the massive spaghetti. Next to it is a large, cozy flybridge seating lounging area, which will be the preferred place to hang out in a trade wind anchorage in the absence of a forward cockpit. A hardtop protects the aft cockpit, which is a wide, shallow area. It is smaller than a comparable sized cat, but it can be cleverly integrated into the saloon via full-width sliding doors. These allow the saloon table and seating to be moved outside, resulting in a 12-person dining table and a large open-plan area. Neil refers to this feature as the cockloom, and it will be a great socializing platform in nice weather. In the transoms of the armors, there are large lockers with over 6 feet of headroom for storing fenders, water toys, and other light gear. One owner specified a full-sized washing machine and dryer in the starboard locker. Ok internet friends, what an incredible trimaran sail yacht, thanks for looking in, don't forget to check out our other videos, coming up on your screen now, that may be of interest to you, and of course, please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next episode, we'll be around tomorrow as usual, hope to catch up with you then, ta for now.